Do you have a leaky faucet that's literally causing you to throw money down the drain? Don't waste your money on a plumber and don't waste your time and money replacing it. You should fix it yourself. And replacing this part right here is almost too easy. Hi, this is Tim with Handyman Hertz, and today I'm going to make you a little more handy. If you're new to the channel, we're all about doing the research and doing things right so that you, the homeowner, don't have to do the research. Now let's go teach you a new skill and save you some money at the same time. Step one is to identify which side is leaking. To do that, go underneath and shut off one side of the shutoff valves. If that stops the leak, that's the side that's leaking. If the previous owners didn't gift you shutoff valves, just shut off the water to the whole house and replace both cartridges. Verify that the water is off. You're going to want to put down a rag so you don't lose any of your parts. Now use a small screwdriver to take off your cap. Now use a Phillips to screw off the handle. Some models may have an Allen wrench you need to use. Next you're going to want to lift off the handle. Now use a crescent wrench or pump pliers to screw off the cartridge nut. You're going to want to take a picture of this orientation for when you reinstall this. Now just pull straight up. If your faucet is leaking out of the handle, then this O-ring needs replaced. Here are the rubber seats and springs. Just pull these out, there's no caution needed. Here's the reason for the leak. There's a little tear on the rubber seats and water is getting past that. To demonstrate how it works, when you turn the handle, you turn the cartridge, which allows water into the faucet. Before we go to the store, figure out which brand of faucet you have. A quick Google told me that Peerless is made by Delta. This eliminates a lot of the possibilities. I could try to save a couple bucks by just getting the seats and springs, but it's better just to get the cartridge kit. You're going to want to match up the seats, the springs, and the cartridge with the one that you brought to the store. This is the closest one that they had. Everything else matches. I just wish the half moon was a little bit bigger on the new one, but that's not a big deal. You'll want to make sure it's the same stem, the same tabs, which is in between my thumb and finger, the same width and the same size. Speaking of thumbs, if you're getting any value from this video, if you could hit the like button, that'd really help me out. The name of the game when it comes to faucets is getting a tight fit between the rubber seat and the cartridge. And that's done with this little spring action. Now drop in your spring and if it's got one side that's wider than the other, put the wide side on the bottom. You're going to want to make sure this gets seated properly. And to do that, just press down on it until you feel it springing back a little bit. And it should look like this. You could also drop the spring in the hole with a screwdriver and use another screwdriver that fits just snugly over the seat. This isn't real necessary for this one, but some of the showers and other applications really helps when it wants to fall out. A pro tip for you is to use some silicone waterproof grease on the seat. This helps lubricate and reduce friction, which is what caused my other seat to leak. Just listen to how much friction my old faucet had. Now go look at your picture I had you take and so you line it up in the right orientation. Now you can tighten the nut, get it hand tight, and then go about a quarter turn more with a wrench. Another rookie mistake is to crank down on this nut. If it ever does leak, you can just take off the handle and tighten a little bit more. Now we could turn the water back on. It's always good practice when you turn the water on after it being off is to take off the aerator. When you turn the water back on, it can agitate all the sediments and land in your screen. Now just put your screw back in your handle. No need to get crazy with the torque. Put your little cap back on. And that's it. Now I'm sure you've already liked the video, but if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell as well, you'll be notified on my next video to make you a little more handy.